<laughs> it's been a roller coaster. On July 22nd, I went for a mammogram, and on <coughs> the 23rd, they called me back for um, a second mammogram. And um, that was a little frightening because I have one sister who, who had breast cancer and is, has been a survivor for 17 years and has had no recurrence. I had one sister who um, was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer and died of breast cancer. And so for me, anytime they call me back for a mammogram is always a scary thing. I have been here at Leonard Middle School since 2009. Um, I teach on a partner team. It's a two-person team um, in eighth grade. And we have a math block in the morning and then we integrate everything else in the afternoon around um, questions kids have about themselves in the world and service learning. So all the standards are met through um, those projects that they do. There are several reactions. First of all, they are trying to be really polite. And so I don't know if they really dared to say what they wanted to say or ask what they wanted to say at the beginning. It was the first day of school. I don't think that they were scared because of the way that I approached it. I think as the year has gone on and we've known each other better that they that they let me know things more. I think, I, it's funny, when I told them about it, uh, the biggest reaction was when they said, somebody raised their hand and said, are you going to lose your hair? <laughs> and I said, yes, I'm going to lose my hair. And, and this one girl was, was absolutely horrified that I was going to lose my hair. She went, oh my word. <laughs> That was, that was the biggest reaction, though, so. Um, and I think as the year goes on, we're, we're, we're developing more of a relationship. It's more of a, more of a give and take, and I support them, and they support me. And